What's up, everybody? Today, we're going to be doing an updated tutorial on how to get quest mods and get PC mods. Before we get started for the quest edition, you will need to have Quest Patcher installed, and you will need to have Developer Mode enabled. And there will be a brand new file down in the description, updated version of all the mods and stuff you will be needing for the quest edition. Alright guys, we're going to be doing the quest edition first. Head over to the modding Discord and find quest mod releases. Once you're in here, as of now, the latest version of Quest Patcher is actually right at the bottom. There is a big update, which we're about to get to. Click download right here. It will take you to a GitHub page in your web browser. Scroll down until you see all of these different assets. You want to download the Windows standalone version. Click it, and it will download it. Once the zip folder is done downloading, you want to extract it from the folder. Now that it is done extracting, we want to go plug in our headset. So go plug your headset in. Once your headset is plugged in, open it up and open up Quest Patcher. Once it's opened, go to the file that is down in the description and download it, extract it, and get back to me once you are done downloading. Big thanks to the All Gorilla Cosmetics community for making organized packs um, of materials and hats. Because this is what's helped me uh, make an organized version of all the mods and updated versions. Once you have the updated Gorilla Tech Mods folder, there will be a link in the description where you can download it. Open up Quest Patcher again, and this time we want to open up our new Gorilla Tag mods, and we will take um, our folders and open up custom maps. Go here, go to cosmetics and other items, select maps. Now, I already have them installed, but you can install them again. Select the top one, all the way bottom, hold shift, select the bottom one, drag them in here, and they will install, and it will just... Um, replace any of the same maps. So this is great for updating a map. Now, you, if you, there's, let's say there's an updated version of um, New York City. New York City, find New York City, drag it in, and it'll just replace the old New York City, making it very easy to update maps. This works for hats and materials as well. Now, if this happens, that is fine. That is okay. Just say okay. And now that all this is done, um, we'll move on to the next step. Once the maps are all installed, go to choose a file type to manage, go to materials, go to your materials folder, select the top one, scroll all the way down, hold shift, select the bottom one, drag and drop it into Quest Patcher. Now that this is done, we can go to hats, same thing, go back. Now, there's a few things here. There's the Minecraft hats, which is all the Minecraft hats. There's the Discord hats, which is every single hat. Um, and then there's the Discord created hats, which means there will be no, um, Minecraft hats. So, depending on what you want to install, whether it's all of them, this is all of them, this is just the Minecraft hats, and this is just the Discord hats. So, depending on what you want to install, install those. I'm just going to install all of the hats, so select the top one, go all the way down, select the bottom one with shift, drag and drop them into hats, and once these are done installing, we will continue on to the next step. Now we're going to select our flying banana and space monkey holding shift, basically selecting all of these mods, dragging and dropping them into mod management mods folder right here, and they will all install. Now, it is okay if this happens. It just means there's an outdated mod, and it could cause um, some crashing if there is an outdated version of a mod. It just means it's not updated to the latest version right now, which is 1.0.8. So just enable it now, and if it does start causing issues, go ahead and disable it. Now, the reason I like Quest Patcher's updated version is because in the updated version, you can enable and disable mods without uninstalling them and reinstalling them. They will stay installed, but you can just disable them so you don't have to go through um, uninstalling and reinstalling. Now, in libraries, this is what the mods have to install to be able to use them. So like Monkey Computer, you need to be able to disable and enable Space Monkey. And... It will, mods will install certain things depending on if they need to use them. Okay, now that we have our quest mods installed, we can move on to the next step. Now, I get asked a lot in the comments section about Monkey Swim and Monkey Skies. Now, I'm going to be showing you how these work. Um, the way the Monkey Skies work is when installing it, if we go back to Quest Patcher, we'll see that we have Monkey Skies installed. We go to Cosmetics and Other Items. 
select Monkey Sky's backgrounds. You will put any picture you want into that folder as if it's like a hat. Drag and drop it into Monkey Skies. Put it in there. That's your Monkey Skies. Same with computer backgrounds. You can drag and drop computer backgrounds to have different computer backgrounds. I'll show you how to disable and enable different computer backgrounds. You can install many. Um, and I'll show you how to do that once we're in VR. All right, guys, I'm in VR here. Now, before you do, I do anything, I want to go to my um, watch, go to paintball, and disable it. I'll get to why we're doing that in a minute. Um, but first, you notice my background is Kashirk. That's the only background I have installed, so it's going to be the default background, so that's good. Um, but if you did have multiple backgrounds installed, go to Mod Settings, Custom Backgrounds. Um, I have installed these in the past, but they're not there, so it'll crash if I try and um, open one of them. Um, but right now, Desktop Background, that is the one that I have right now. If you want to enable it, go find the one you want to enable, press Enter, and then quit your game and then reload it, and the new background will be there. Of course, that's the only one I have installed at the moment, so it'll crash if I try to open any of these other ones, so keep that in mind. Now, before we get into the command line in the monkey computer, we're going to look at our cosmetics. You notice I have cosmetics on. You can change your cosmetics with materials. You can change the material. You can change back to normal. You can change to different materials. You can wear different hats. This one, I'm a crown. You can cycle through with different arrows, same with the materials. Got that, that says hat. Got a um, single strike from Beat Saber. Got a Angry Bird, just different hats, all these different hats. Now be warned, it can sometimes crash if you try and press an arrow. It can sometimes crash, so keep that in mind. Now, to do the monkey command line, go to game settings. First, go to color, and you'll see the color scheme is red, green, blue. Right now, we have blue. Because we have the mod, if we want it to be maxed out, we need to do 255, which is the same as doing 9 without the mod. So right now, I'm blue, right? So we want to go back to the monkey command line. Type in color, space, 0, space, 0, space, 0. Now, this is the same thing. Red, green, blue. So if we wanted to change our color to blue, we do 255. Enter. Nothing happened. Now, we can press up to get our command back, and we can change this to over 255, so I could do 300, and I'd get it even brighter. So we could do something like 900 and be Super Bright Monkey. And you then you can do different com com combinations, so like red, like 500 of red, nothing of green. 500 of blue would be a very shiny purple. So like, see how I'm not quite... All the way shiny, I have some texture. It's because I didn't do 900. I can do 900, and I'll be a little bit shiny, almost all the way. But if I do 900, all the way shiny, all the way what shiny, the then I'll be shiny. I'm not even a you room. Know, how'd, you, how'd you even get in yeah, here? I'm well, not even in a... I'm not even I a public room. In this room. I've been in this room for a long time. Like an hour or two. I haven't even. How long it takes somebody to join? What code? Is this public? Yeah. That's the weirdest thing. Yeah, I guess I'll leave you to it. Oh, by the way, can I use you as an example? Can I use it as an example? Uh, All right, guys. So yeah. the way paintball works is you turn, you go to your paintball menu, and you want to select monkey. You can select your own color. In this case, I'm pink. So if I use, if I hold my grip button, you'll see if I enable it. Hold my grip button, there will be a circle. It turns green on a monkey. I can click it, and he'll turn the same color pink that I am, all shiny. If I change the own to random, it'll randomly pick a color. And I can randomly decide what color he is. And also, if I do myself, I can shoot him. And if I make it random, I can shoot myself. I can shoot myself, and I can change it. So if you change it to um, all, it will. you can change the color of trees. Randomly change the color of all this. Like that. And rest will be terrain and anything else that's not in the category. So I can change all this to look real weird like this. There you go. You've got your original color. Except it isn't like neon anymore. 
And so this is how you can do really weird things painting your world. Now, be warned, you have to reset the game if you ever want to go back to normal. I can't just, like, reset the color. I can't just disable it. It'll stay like this. Now, if we change it back to monkey, enable it, make it random, I can shoot him, and I can shoot me to change my color. So it's really fun to mess around with. You yeah. can play games, you can play paintball. It's a lot of fun. Um, anyways, all I was trying to say was you can change the color here um, with color, and you can change that to whatever you want. Like, if I want 900, I want maybe some of this, I can get cool shiny colors um, out of it. To change into a weird cool shiny blue and you can do all sorts of commands like this and there are all sorts of commands here you can just press help and it'll give you all the entire list of commands which is really cool um to change you can do name so like i can do name here now as long as it's all one word it can be as long as you want it's like i can make it all crazy long if i just spam name Space, spam, all these number letters. I'm pretty sure I'm subscribed to your channel. And then press enter. <laughs> My name changes to be super long. We we'll go over here and look. Sorry, I'm sitting down. It's really hard. All right, you see, my name is all really long. So yeah, that's how you do that. There's all sorts of commands you can do with the command line. It's really useful. It's really nice. Um, so if you use the help command, you can get all sorts of different commands here that you can run and use, and I hope this was useful, and I'll catch you guys once I am back on the computer, Well, we will keep installing mods, but this time for PC. Okay, guys, now we're going to install mods for PC, so you're going to want to go to the modding discord again, but instead of going to quest mod releases, go to PC mod releases. Scroll all the way up, and yes, I mean all the way up to the top where you will download the monkey mod manager. Click this right here, take you to a GitHub, where you'll scroll down and download that. Download this, monkey mod manager. Now that you've got monkey mod manager installed, open up Steam, right click on gorilla tag, manage, browse local files, find your gorilla tag folder, open your downloads folder, drag and drop monkey mod manager into your gorilla tag folder, Open up Monkey Mod Manager. Once it's done loading, select Gorilla Cosmetics and Monkey Mod Menu, Monkey Map Loader, and hit Install and Update. Now, once that's done, look here. You can disable the mods whenever you want and enable them whenever you want. Utilities, uninstall all, backup mods folder, all these other cosmetic, uh, backup cosmetics, all these other, other settings. We can close Monkey Mod Manager for now. Go into the Bebinix folder, open Plugins. You will see all the mods you've downloaded up here in here. Now, if you ever want to download any other mod, go to the Gorilla Tag Modding Discord, go to PC Mod Releases, and you can scroll down to find any mod that you decide you want. Now, if you want to download something, you can find something like, you can find the Wall Walking mod. You can download it right here. Just download the mod. And if it does ever say this, I, I get asked sometimes how to fix this. Three dots. Keep, show more, keep anyways, then it will install. Next, go back to the plugins. Remember how all your mods go in here. Remember, Vepinix, plugins, all your mods are in here. So like your Gorilla Cosmetics are here. So right click, new folder, call it wall walking mod. If you ever want to add a mod, just name it whatever you want. Find your downloaded mod. Take your mod, while walking, put it into that file. It's as simple as that. You can add as many mods as you want. Now, the way the Gorilla Cosmetics work is you're going to open that up. Open up your Hats in Materials folder. Open up Hats. Comes with this. Open up Materials. Comes with this. Same thing. Open up the updated Gorilla Tag Mods file from the description below. Find the hats that you want. The same thing. I'm going to just do all the hats. Select the top one, scroll all the way down, all the way down to the bottom, hold shift, select the bottom one, right click, drag and drop to the hats folder, copy here, open up the materials folder, go back, go to materials, select the top one, hold shift, select the bottom one, right click, drag and drop into the materials folder, copy here, replace 
in files in destination to update already existing files. Close that. Go back. Custom maps. Select the top. Scroll all the way down. Hold shift. Select the bottom. Open up your gorilla tag folder. Same thing. Open up monkey mod menu. Open up custom maps. Right click. Drag and drop. Copy here. Now all your maps are installed. Go back. Now you have all that installed. Monkey mod menu will have some other mods like Super Monkey, which lets you fly, which you might disable depending on what mods you get. If it tells you, it would be better to disable. Um, it will allow you to have the tag gun. It'll allow you to have the beacons, tag all, and beacons will appear through the floor. If they're in the cave map, it'll go up through the forest map. You, it'll change color depending on if they're it or what color they are. And you can turn up speed boost to make you faster than the, than the rock monkey and lava monkey. Um, gives you a lot of options there. So if we go back to PC mods, we'll see even more teaches you how to do it. So like if we scroll up here, something I like is the spectator mod, which you use the, you use WASD to control where you go and then you use the arrow keys to look around. Same thing, download it. Monkey watch, download the monkey watcher DLL, new folder, spectator. Going to go to our downloads folder, find our monkey watch, drag it into Spectator. Now you've got that installed as well. Remember that it's in Bepinix, plugins, all your mods. Now, PC personally for me seems to be a lot easier um, to download stuff for. Um, I like it, it's faster, but some of the mods on Quest I think are better than the ones on PC. Um, if you ever want updates for Quest 1 or 2, hats and materials are, are always the same, universal on both. Um, always just kind of look through here. You can find updated versions and just brand new skins and hats added all the time. You can download them. Same thing. Download, drag and drop it into the hats folder of your either Quest Patcher or your plugins folder in Gorilla Tag Hats. That is going to wrap it up for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I can't thank you enough for all the support. We're at 400 subscribers. That's that's just the best. I can't thank you enough. We are that my other tutorial video is at 9,000 views, and that's just crazy. And I just can't thank you guys enough. We are so close to 500 subscribers, and it's just crazy how fast it's been going. I didn't expect my channel to take off so fast, and I just get I can't I think can't thank you enough, guys. It means so much to me. Um, I just I want to continue making videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial and or Gorilla Tag video.